Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're back here today with another challenge video. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit, so let's get on with the crafts. Let's go. All right, here we go with DIY number one. All right, here we are at the craft desk. Now for this craft, you're gonna need one of these little molds, a dial rod, some scissors, one of those little wood rounds. Now those wood rounds, uh, you can get at the Dollar Tree, but I think you can get them at uh, Walmart as well. And then you're gonna need a spool of ribbon or yarn or twine or something like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by filling my little bird with uh, hot glue. And you wanna make sure you work all that glue down, squeeze that little mold as you're putting the glue in so that it drops all the way in and gets those air bubbles out. Now, I will tell you, I saw Shelly on Repurpose My Way. She made one of these and I thought it was absolutely adorable. Now, we made ours. We got an alarm going off. Yep, we sure do. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, anyway, we are going to make ours a little different. We're going to put our little spin on it. Now, I'm going to set that glue, uh, the glue little bird with the glue to the side and let it dry. Now the first thing I did is I stuck the dial rod in so that I can measure how far I wanted uh, how deep my uh, spool was because I want this to come up above the spool and then while the glue is still, still wet I got that off camera. I'm sorry about that. You're going to take and stick that dial rod down inside the bird. And then you're going to let it dry. Now you're going to need to fix it where it stands up against something so that it has time to set up. And what you see me doing here is I'm trying to find the center of my little uh, round. And for some reason it didn't work out or it was an optical illusion. It didn't quite look like I wanted it to. <laughs> so I kept drawing on it and until I got a close enough center. Anyway, you guys, uh, you don't have to do all this to find the center. Just, you know, eyeball it, make it look right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my drill out and I'm going to drill a hole. Now you want to be careful. Don't have your fingers in the way on the backside. Now, I'm going to drill a hole in that and I'm going to drill a hole in my dial rod. Now you want to make sure you're holding that nice and firm so that you do not get hurt by that drill bit. And I am going to take and drill a hole in those two pieces. I'm going to find me a screw and put this together. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is take your little, once your bird has dried, you're going to want to slip that off of the glue. Now it's really easy to do and I was just checking to make sure that everything came out like I wanted. Now when I stuck that down in there it squished some of the glue up and it didn't look too pretty there on the edge. So I'm going to just take my uh, box cutter there and I am just going to trim off that extra glue piece that was on the bottom and it's really easy to trim off and then I got me a screw that when I put it in it would be flat on the bottom if I sat it on the table so let me get this trimmed up now once this is trimmed up then you're going to take and you're going to put your screw into the bottom of your board and into your little stand now I decided before I did I put it all together I'm going to put antiquing wax on this little wood round and the dowel rod now I'm not going to worry about the little bird on the top because it's going to get painted with uh, chalk paint so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get out the Dollar Tree uh, black chalk paint and I am going to paint this little bird and that chalk paint works really good on the glue and then once we get that on there and get it dried then we'll be ready to put this together. So at this point you're actually ready to put on your little spool and the reason why you put on put a screw in it is so that I don't think I don't remember if Shelly put a screw in hers or not, but I put a screw in mine so that I could change out my twine and keep using this. This makes a cute addition to a craft room, and I think it's absolutely adorable. Now, 
I do make some changes and hold on, I'm gonna show you what they are. I'm gonna get out these little black beads that I got from the Dollar Tree and I am going to sand the edges of them that are going to be attaching to the little wood round. And the reason why I'm doing that is because these had a shiny coat on them and I wanted to make sure that they adhered to the little stand and all I did is my bird and my spool is sitting down inside of that cup and I just flipped it over and sat it down inside of there while I was putting these on and then once those are dry then I'm going to take it uh, take it and change my spool and now Shelly put up a little pair of scissors on there this is the smallest pair of scissors that I found actually got them off of Timu and I'm just tying them on with twine. And then because this is a, a summer challenge, I wanted it to look very summery. So I put the yellow twine on there and I'm going to, yeah, get this spool tied on there at some point. And then I'm going to add some little flowers and embellishments. And I don't uh, remember what all Shelly did to her. So here's where it becomes my uh, design because I'm going to take and start adding some little flowers and embellishments and we will see the rest of this at the final reveal. You guys this turned out so cute. Now today's video is a minis challenge and it's by crafted by Corey and here's the dates of all the different days that she is going to be having on her calendar for this year and it happens every third Friday of the month at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you'd like to be a part of this let us know. Get in touch with Corey over on Instagram or contact me through email or on Instagram. It is cra at Crafty Art Check and we'll get you added to this. Now there's also a link to Corey's channel in the description box along with a uh, playlist. Go check them out because of all the other crafters that are participating. Go check them out because they're doing some awesome crafts and you sure don't want to miss it. Now here we go with DIY number two. All right, for this next DIY, I got one of these little pigs from the Dollar Tree and I got um, a mold and I put hot glue in it and it was a different mold than what I was showing you there and filled it up with hot glue and made this little uh, emblem that I'm going to put on this little pig. This little pig turns out so cute. And then once you get it done, you can just hot glue it right straight onto your wood piece and it will stick to that wood glue and if you push it hard enough it gets down into the grain of that wood and I haven't had a problem with them coming off. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint everything on this from the glue part that I just added to the pig itself to the stand that it's on and even the backside because this is I want it all to look uniform so I'm just going to rub all of this in and it kind of makes that piece disappear but it's okay because we're going to um, fix that in just a minute this this really turns out these are one of my favorite ones I noticed that I didn't put enough hot glue right there so I went back and put it in and then um, I went back to finish painting it now the next thing I did after this dried is I got the I had another mold and what I did is I created some clay pieces from that mold. Then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to cut it down just about down the center of it and I'm going to place it on the uh, base of this where I painted it black. And you'll see me do that here in just a second. I'm fitting it, dry fitting it in first to see where it's going to lay. And then I'm going to add some Aileen's Tacky Glue to this because this is what helps these stay on here. And you guys, this, this little pig, he turned out gorgeous. I did a cow and a chicken similar to this. And so I wanted to make the pig to match the set. And he, he's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now what you see me doing here is I'm adding some more trim pieces that I made out of clay and I'm going to 
glue them onto this with some Aileen's Tacky Glue. See the little beads that I put across there? And now I'm going to put a little rope piece here to join the two pieces together. And then once you get that on there like that, then you're going to kind of smush it together to where it looks like it's all one piece. And then we're going to go back and we're going to paint everything black now you can wait until this dries now i did do that to the front and to the back you can wait till it dries or you can paint it just like this i painted mine while it was still wet because i found out that if i did that then i had time to maneuver some things around if they needed to be maneuvered around does that make sense <laughs> And then after I did that, I went back and I took my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint and I'm kind of laying my brush to the side and I am going over all that embellishment from the glue piece that I added around his neck all the way onto the base that I did out of clay. And oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. So anyway, I'm going to let you see the rest of this at the final reveal. Okay, let's jump right into DIY number three. All right, for this next DIY, I got this little uh, pitcher from the thrift store. It wasn't very much. It was probably around a dollar or so. Um, anyway, I'm taking this little piece of tape off that was stuck on the, the handle of it, and I'm going to take this and paint it black. Now, I'm painting it black because I want to use my white, wax that I got and so I did one other piece this week with the white wax and I just loved how it turned out so I wanted to see how it looked on this piece so we're going to paint this completely black and then after it dries and I'm going to paint part of the way down on the inside I'm not going to paint the inside completely and then after it dried I came back and I was going to put uh, white chalk paint on here and then I was like no I was supposed to be using the wax <laughs> so I went and got my white wax out and I'm gonna take a baby wipe and wipe this off good thing about baby wipes is they clean up a lot of stuff other than babies butts <laughs> and so I'm gonna get out my white wax and I'm gonna use it on this and you'll see it here in just a minute it absolutely turns out gorgeous and then I'm not going to make you sit through it all I just wanted to show you how I did it I'm taking a stippling brush and I'm just stippling this on here and then I'm going to take that baby wipe and I'm going to wipe it back and now I'm trying to make sure that I hit all the places where there would be nooks and crannies and then because I want this to settle down in there and then I'm going back and wiping off the excess and then after that's completely dry I take and stick me a piece of uh, foam down in there and I get me some real pretty uh, summery flowers and I am going to start making an arrangement in this little uh, pitcher and this turned out so cute I think it's make, gonna make a great addition to my little uh, project that I'm working on next so anyway what I'm doing is I've cut all my pieces and what you do to one side you want to do to the other side and you kind of want to put I only had one of those center pieces that was tall like that so I put it in the center and worked around it and added little uh, pieces of flour to it yep that's all I'm doing adding flowers people adding flowers <laughs> and so anyway I don't think you need to see this I think everybody knows how to stick a piece a stick of flour and a piece of foam and if it don't look good pull it out and start over the next thing I did is I got my twine out from the Dollar Tree and I wrapped it around my fingers like you see here and then I'm going to tie a little bow and um, spread that out sorry about that you guys I thought I was in the camera frame sometimes I get busy working and forget to get up there where the camera's at so anyway I'm going to tie this on and then once I do that then I am going to show it to y'all at the final reveal that's what I'm going to do sure am so we'll see this then 
Now, at this time, we'd like to thank our subscribers. We love you bunches, and we really appreciate you. And here we are with the final reveal. y'all we're back from the craft desk and didn't these just turn out awesome well if you like this content subscribe like and share because it really helps our video out and for all our subscribers thank you so much for everything you do for us by subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next episode of the crafty art shack we'll see you later bye <laughs>